In this video, I will show you step by step to create a walk cycle animation. You can hide the joints since we will only use the controllers for animation. I will start with the legs. At frame 1, we will create the first contact pose of the walk cycle. Hit the S key to create a keyframe after you applied the changes. Bring the hip controller down to where the legs can be relaxed. Hit the S key to create a keyframe. The walk cycle will take 1 second and a half. Since our project frame rate is 24 frames per second, that means we will use 35 frames for the animation. At frame 18, we will create the second contact pose of the walk cycle. Select the foot controllers, hold the shift key and click on the first frame, right click and select copy, move to frame 18, right click and select paste. Copy the translate Z value from the right foot and paste it to the left foot. Hit the S key to create a keyframe and to save that value. Copy the translate Z value from the left foot and paste it to the right foot. Hit the S key to create a keyframe and to save that value. Now, the leg switches in the second step. The third contact pose should be the same as the first contact pose and we can duplicate the value of the first pose. Now, the legs move in a cycle. Select the hip controller and duplicate the first frame to frame 35. Select the foot controllers and duplicate the first frame to frame 6. Lift up the right foot and rotate it forward. At frame 1, rotate the hip controller forward in 20 degrees. Same at frame 18 and frame 35. At frame 6, bring the hip down and forward, and we will create the down pose. At frame 12, bring the hip up and we'll create the up pose. At frame 23, we will create the second down pose. Select the foot controllers, duplicate frame 18 to frame 23. To pose the left foot, we can duplicate the values from the right foot at frame 6. At frame 12, lift the right foot up and create a keyframe. We can duplicate the value and use it for the left foot at frame 29. Now, as she walks, her body will shift up and down. Select the hip controller, duplicate the frame 6 to frame 23. And duplicate the frame 12 to frame 29. At frame 1, rotate the hip controller along the Y axis. I type negative 20 degrees.
At frame 18, rotate the hip controller in 20 degrees along the Y axis. At frame 6, rotate it in negative 12 degrees. At frame 12, rotate it in negative 6 degrees. At frame 23, rotate it in 12 degrees. At frame 29, rotate it in 6 degrees. At frame 35, rotate in negative 20 degrees. The chest rotates in the opposite way. At frame 1, rotate the chest controller in 30 degrees. At frame 18, rotate it in negative 30 degrees. At frame 35, rotate it in 30 degrees. At frame 6, rotate it in 24 degrees. At frame 12, rotate it in 10 degrees. At frame 23, rotate it in negative 24 degrees. At frame 29, rotate it in negative 10 degrees. Now, her body should rotate when her weight shifts to the side. At frame 6, when she lifting up her right foot, move the right foot to the right. I type negative 8 on the Translate X channel. At frame 12, I type negative 10 on the Translate X channel. At frame 23, type 8 on the Translate X channel. At frame 29, type 10 on the Translate X channel. We'll create a few keyframes on the neck controller and let her head facing the front. Move the eye controller in front of her, so her eyeball can aim to her front. Select the hip controller, go to Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. Select all keyframes, and apply the Easy Ease. It will smooth the animation a little bit. Go to Curves, Pre-Infinity, and turn on Cycle Infinity. Turn on cycle post infinity as well. Go to view and show the infinity curves. Now, as we work on the motion curve in the walk cycle, we should also see the infinity curve. That will help us polishing the start point and the end point of the animation cycle. Go to each channel and polish the curve by rotating the tangents on the keyframes. Select the left foot controller in Graph Editor, select all keyframes and apply the Easy Ease. At frame 12, the foot is off the ground plane. We can go to that keyframe, zero the Translate Y channel, and hit the S key to update the change. On the Rotation X channel, we can zero out the value at frame 12, so the foot can stay still on the ground.
Select the right foot controller, in graph editor, select all keyframes and apply the easy ease. On the translate white channel, the foot is off the ground plane at frame 29. We can zero out the value. On the rotation X channel, we can zero out the value at frame 29, so the foot can stay still on the ground. The feet should move smoother now. Select the chest controller, in graph editor, select all keyframes and apply the easy ease. Go to each channel and polish the motion curve. Select the neck controller, in graph editor, select all keyframes and apply the easy ease. Go to each channel and polish the motion curve. Select the first spine controller, at frame 1, rotate it in negative 5 degrees along the z-axis. At frame 18, rotate it in 5 degrees. Copy the first keyframe to frame 35. Select the second spine controller, at frame 1, rotate it in negative 2 degrees along the z-axis. At frame 18, rotate it in 2 degrees. Copy the first keyframe to frame 35. Go to the graph editor and smooth the motion curves. Now, let's work on the arms. At frame 1, her left foot is in the front, so I will bring her right hand to the front to keep in balance. Select both hand controllers, copy the first keyframe and paste it to frame 18 and frame 35. At frame 18, reverse the values on the arms. Select the left hand controller and block its position at frame 6, frame 12, frame 23, and frame 29. Same for the right hand controller. As she swings the arms, we can rotate the hand to create the follow-up animation.
Now, let's work on the feet. Select the left foot at frame 35 and frame 1, rotate it in negative 30 degrees along the x-axis. At frame 18, rotate the right foot in negative 30 degrees. At frame 20, zero out the right foot's rotation value so it can hit the ground earlier. Same thing for the left foot. We can zero out the left foot's rotation value at frame 3 so it can hit the ground earlier. Select the left hand controller, go to the graph editor, select all keyframes and apply the easy ease. Go to each channel and polish the motion curves. The left arm should be swinging smoother. Select the right hand controller, go to the graph editor, select all keyframes and apply the easy ease. Go to each channel and polish the motion curves. Now, we have finished creating the Aged Lady Walk Cycle animation.